Hello, and welcome to part three of my Moth Poncho series. I am now stitching together all of my pieces and putting them all together. For this project, I decided to leave the edges raw instead of rolling them. That way, it's not bulky, where all of the pieces are joined together, and also, as it's washed and worn, the edges will kind of get fluffy and frayed, and I think it will add a little bit of uh, magic to this whole moth look that we're going for. So I pinned down the top where I'm going to stitch, tried it on, and made sure I'm not pinning too far down. That way when it's being worn, it hits your arm at the right spot. I pinned down the same length on the other side, and now I'm moving on to the hood pieces. I stitched on the squiggly bits, and then I'm laying right sides together, and then I will be serging and top stitching down the center fold of the hood. So I didn't record much about these antenna. I'm sorry, I should have. However, um, I just played around with the stitches on my machine, I found one that looked like little hairs, made this little shape, and I stuffed it with polyfill, and then I copied it to make a second one, and voila. Um, I did use pinking shears and then uh, fabric glue on the edges so that it didn't fray and fall apart. So if you want more information about that, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to explain further or uh, if you need video of that in the future, I would be happy to, to go into detail about stuff like this. Anyway, I tried the hood on, measured where I like the pieces to sit, the antenna to sit, and then I stitched them on. Now I am attaching the hood to the body piece of the poncho. To do this, I lined up the center seam of the hood with the center seam of the back of the poncho, and then just lined everything up from there until everything was attached in the right spots. And then I now have a completed outer shell of my moth poncho. And now for the lining. So I stitched together all of these pieces and then I put right sides together. Since this is the lining, the part where I'm stitching here along the sleeve will not be a raw hem. So right sides together for this and then I pinned it in place. And then using the shell, I lined it up so that I could make sure that I'm only stitching down exactly where I need to to be. That way when I put these pieces together, I don't have anything that's uh, overstitched or understitched. I folded it in half to make sure that I've got the, the same length on both sides. And then I used my pattern piece. Since I cut the black pieces bigger than they should have been originally, I just traced there to see exactly where I needed to stitch and cut off the excess so that everything lined up. I folded it up, cut out the neck hole, and flipped it right sides out. I forgot to record me stitching together the hood, but it's just two pieces that I, I stitched and surged. Um, and then I'm doing the same thing to attach the hood with the body piece here. We're lining right sides together. I lined up the center seam of the hood with the center seam of the body piece, and then I'm just pinning along the edges. And I was going to do this wrap neck detail, but since it's reversible, that didn't work out. So I'm lining it up with the outer shell to see how much I cut off. And then I'll be trimming the extra fabric that I didn't need. Making sure they both are the same size. And then now that I've got that stitched on, we get to put on the pocket. I measured down how far I wanted the pocket to sit, and then I rolled over the edges and pinned it in place, and then I'll be stitching around these, except for the diagonal lines, that's where you'll be able to put your little hands in. I lint rolled it and flipped it inside out, and now it's time to put the two pieces together. So I am putting together wrong sides of both of these, and the outer perimeter will all be a raw hem. So, I'm lining up the hoods, I stitched that around the face hole first, and then I lined up the neck hole, 
and I'm tack stitching it. That way nothing scooches around and then everything is all aligned where it should be as far as the hood and the neck. Once I got that all aligned, I now have to stretch out both pieces and start pinning around the entire perimeter. This was a little tricky on my table, so I spread it out on my floor, and here you can see a nice overview of the whole, how the whole look came together. If you look back at my pattern, it's cool to see that my pattern that I drew on a piece of paper is now a reality. So um, I, I've got it all pinned and flat and beautiful. I stitched around the perimeter, and now I'm trimming off the excess, leaving about a quarter inch of space. That way I can have that raw hem and have it fray over time and get nice and soft. To avoid having random little strings pulling off for a while, I went ahead and uh, used a fork and kind of roughed up the edges, pulled out any loose threads and trimmed them. That way it was nice and clean and then it could continue to fray and fluff on its own as it's being worn and washed. This way everything should uh, look nice and there won't be any weird long strings coming out. So it, it was a bit of a long process to do this whole perimeter, but definitely a small detail that would be well worth the quality uh, of the poncho and in the longevity of the poncho. I thought that it was very important for me to do this step. So no corners cut here. Gotta make sure that the, the, they say uh, the, the devil's in the details. <laughs> all right, so we got that all frayed. I am lint rolling it to get all the little pieces off of it. And she's finished. Here is the final look. I really had a lot of fun with this project. It tested my abilities, it made me think outside the box, and it really came together quite nice. Uh, I was really happy with it, and the person that I made it for was absolutely over the moon in love with it, so that was really cool. Divine timing truly is real. Almost immediately once we got out to this forest to shoot these final shots, we crossed paths with the sweetest woman. She approached us, was asking about the poncho, and she was hyping me up. And she actually said she was a professional model coach in the past. And so she started giving me pointers and I ended up staying throughout the whole shoot to, uh, to coach me and, and help me out with this. So shout out to her. She was super sweet. And uh, I was so thankful to have her there. She helped me out so much and it was a, a really cute interaction. So here's a little sneak peek on, on her helping me out. Thank you. Super nice. Thank 
Thank you. And it's reversible. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Oh, butterflies on the inside too. Yeah. Oh, where did no. you get that? I made it. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, getting some footage of the, the final result. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So what was the hood like when you put it up? Oh. And we've got little antennas on yeah, there Yeah, I see that. Oh, that's so cute. With your head, you. like, coming out with that color. Isn't uh -huh. it beautiful with that mm -hmm. green? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's adorable. Good for you. Do you want me to take thank a picture you. of the both of you together? Sure. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'm not professional. You just have to show me where to press. And beautiful. Like, she's perfect photogenic. My gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, Man, you're, you're hyping me up for this photo shoot <laughs> we're about no, to do. Oh, good, good. So you're doing a photo shoot with... Yeah, yeah, I recorded the process of how I made it, so I'm going to do like a time-lapse video. So we needed some footage of the I final result. I think we should spin around. So. Mm hmm Yeah. See, I used to teach modeling, that's why I say that. Oh, really? Oh my god, perfect. Years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now you show showing yes. That's good. Yeah, give that sexy pout. That's a nice <laughs> strong pose. No, it's really a good strong pose. And lean lean gently to one side. Yeah, lean. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. Breathe in and remember that's right. And then just give that mysterious look as you look. Yes. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Slowly keep turning with that look. And then turn back again slowly. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, this is beautiful! Yeah! <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Okay. So do this, do this. Yeah, stay like that, stand straight, okay? And you know how you gave us that strong pose from the front? Yeah. Give us that same pose from the back. Put your hands out. And up. Keep putting it. Yep, yep, yep. Let's capture that. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Can you believe it? Because that's all I need. We're definitely losing sunlight.